All right, everybody. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour of a killer Country Coach Intrigue 2007. It's got a bunk bed couch in it, super clean coach. But I was walking back from our detailer. He lives here on site, staying uh, in a trailer on site. And I started to walk by the old Country Coach facility. And I thought you all needed a quick update. So this building here would have been building one, stretches all the way down there. In the end of production, that would have been the Tribute Inspired production line. And that building back there in the distance that you can kind of see is where all the fiberglass front caps and everything were made. But I want to let you know that Winnebago is actually sold this side of the street. What that means is the good old Country Coach Building 1 will never be used to build coaches again. So let's step inside here. Get some lights on. All right, so I made it down here to the old uh, sales department area here at Premier RV Sales and Service in Junction City, Oregon. And uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, I've got a 2007 Country Coach Intrigue. So we'll get you a tour of this bad boy right here in the front run box. It's going to have all your chassis fuses, your HWH pump and your brain and auxiliary compressor and whatnot. As usual, that's going to be the most common components that you're going to have up in that front is going to be stuff that has to do with the chassis. That's why we call it chassis front run box. So this coach here. It's gonna have about 75,000 miles on it. Coming in at 179. Really good condition. Nice looking coach. Headlights are popping, good and shiny, fresh on that part. And then it's got these cool red and gold colors. So let's uh, go ahead and go through this thing. We'll get all these bay doors open for you. All right, so we've got all these bays open. So the cool thing about this 45-foot Country Coach Intrigue is you're going to actually have three complete pass-through bays. Uh, bay 1, Bay 2, and then you're going to have Bay 3. The reason why that is is that you end up with three nice large bays. This Country Coach on the Intrigue product has put the fuel tank in the very center, pretty much like a Prevost coach. In between those batteries in the inverter and then the aqua hot on the other side so a good friend of mine Trevor Jones at luxury RV services actually just went and picked one of these coaches up just like this a couple weeks ago and he uh, he worked for marathon drove a lot of marathons drives a lot of marathons or Prevost conversions and the first thing he said to me is that he liked the way this drives so with that being said, that's pretty much saying a lot because Trevor's a motocross guy and he's a lot like me. And if you're gonna be saying that this drives good, then he's pretty much comparing it to the Prevost chassis. So it shows that the Country Coach with that front independent suspension, that mid-tank fuel tank, mid-ship mounted fuel tank is gonna make for a good handling coach. So that's uh, pretty much what you've got here on your passenger side. You're gonna have a 24 gallon LP tank here just after your batteries, four lifeline batteries, give you good reserve for dry camping. Out here on the side, you'll see we've got the uh, LP regular RV refrigerator vent, but that has actually been replaced. We'll show you when we get inside. It's got a beautiful three, uh, three or two drawer, two door plus a drawer, however you want to put that refrigerator in there. New modern Samsung, but a beautiful coach. It's going to have a uh, Caterpillar engine in it. We'll give you a tour around the other side of it here. Here's the back end. Beautiful coach. I'm not going to open up that just because a ladder and everything in the way. Looks like it's got some uh, newer style LED lights that have been installed here. So that's going to be a nice upgrade compared to the original lights. Got your side mounted radiator, of course. 
Now this is going to have the uh, tag axle set the same as the drive, not the same as the uh, front axle. I don't think that changed till 2008. But there was actually no difference to the drivability. It was really just a look thing to make them look more like a bus. So here on your driver's side, you're going to have where all the business actually happens. You're going to have beautiful lit stainless steel plumbing bay. You're going to have uh, just the good old manual knife valves here black and gray tank flush and then even a light for this bay a little water pump bypass gravity fill up here across the top a little spot to hook your city water up in right here so real elementary and then we've got your uh aqua hot located in this bay two zones give you plenty of good hot water on demand and then as we said on the other side this bay here will be full pass through and then we'll have full pass through again. And then we'll have the very last bay behind the steering axle be full pass through again. So nice lighting in the bays, nice tandem off carpet, lots of room in here. Got this full quickie slide tray. Looks like we've got the factory country coach uh, information kit and even the leaf to expend, extend out the dinette table there. So. I think uh, that pretty much covers everything on the outside. This is gonna have a Gerard window awning. It's electric there. And then it's gonna have one large Gerard patio awning. Also here mounted directly to the slide room. It's not the uh, carefree. So it's gonna have no arms. It'll be the scissor style Gerard. Nice reliable awnings. All right, let's go inside. Get some lights turned on here and give you guys a tour. All right, so we've come inside, got the little lights on. We'll give you a quick tour of the ceiling treatment in this coach. So you've got that beautiful uh, cherry wood accent in there with that stainless. It's going to keep your air conditioners much quieter with those plenums up there on the ceiling. So this will be full heated tile in the bathroom area and then you'll have full heated tile up here in the living room area. All right. So like I said, this couch is actually a bunk bed, which is really cool. We'll give you a little show and tell on how that works here in just a second, but let's get started in this cab area. I always like to give these cab chairs a good inspection to make sure they're looking pretty good. And uh, for 75,000 miles, I don't really see anything that's jumping out at me too bad with the cab chairs. It looks like we've uh, got a Clarion backup monitor installed here. And then we've got the silver leaf vehicle management system and then your hwh leveling looks like it's got the old original drape pulls around the front nice simple system pull it around or it actually maybe electric comes around the front yeah it looks like we've got a little electric action going on there and then i've got the map light turned on over the seat here and then i've got the map light Actually, I don't have the map light. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Then got a little map light switch here at your Intellitech. Get looks like five extra buttons there to be programmed to whatever you'd like, be it living room, galley, bedroom, so on and so forth. But that's on. Let's go ahead and take a look in this cabinet here. Oh, it looks like we've got the Yamaha stereo receiver in here, and then a little Sony Blu-ray. Be able to get you some modern Blu-rays going, and I'm pretty sure that's a gonna be a smart blu-ray over the uh, entry door here you'll have uh hwh slide room controls the controller for the um, awnings looks like the original antenna controller and then maybe a solar panel monitoring system uh, if this is factory which uh looks like we're not getting the house voltage so maybe a little solar system that was used too much when it was new Right. let's cruise along here across the front got a, a old track star controller here and then the old pioneer cd changer that's both going to be obsolete at this point 
and then here you'll have a map box a map box and then another map box now on this coach as you see there's no front tv so it gives you a nice view out the windshield and you've got this nice pop-up tv over here and we'll come back to that when we give you the tour of the that slide room but that pretty much covers the front overhead and then of course over here you've got a nice little shelf and then i think back to another one of those uh abs map boxes installed there so it's got tilt wheel telescoping wheel it's going to be the new modern smart wheel like i'm getting ready to put into my coach and give me that modern feel like i've got a 2007 now keys to this are really nice as you've got your marker light flash your headlight flash and all your cruise control buttons here and all your wiper controls here and they're all in the wheel it's a little nicer feel that's why i'm spending the time and effort to put that in my coach well let's go ahead and go down the uh, driver's side slide room here like i said you've got that pop-up tv here really cool effect about it is you can actually leave it down and then you get that 70s style console tv if you don't feel like lifting it up but uh, you can always lift that TV up and then get a nice view of it and then drop it down during the day. A little spot here on the corner. Set a laptop or something maybe if you wanted to put a chair. And then you've got this flip up here with some 12 volt outlets and some 110 volt um, power strip. Big long galley. It's got the dishwasher installed here. Nice large cooktop here. Full overheads across the top here. And then this nice large one over here. It looks like somebody's even put a nice pull out in here. So that's really nice to be able to get the stuff that's in the very back. And then across these upper cabinets, we're going to have all nice tandem um, cabinets. We'll even have that over here on the side. So that covers your galley overheads. Then you've got the galley drawer area here. Got a nice deep drawers here. And then a more continuing your way on down. And then the very bottom one, a nice deep drawer here again also. Looks like we've got the uh, sponge holder here. And then we've got some more storage here under the sink. Looks like we've got a central vac installed in here. So you got the central vac in the very back corner, a couple extra bags, and it looks like a vacuum vent right here in the galley. So pretty convenient. You don't have to carry around a vacuum cleaner with you. Then we should have some more storage here. You've got the holders here for the cooktop and for the sink. And then that Fitcher Pekel dishwasher here. Pretty decent size unit. Very common in the RV industry to have the Fitcher Pekel. I think we'll have a propane, yep, propane cooktop. And then we've got the sink here. It looks like we've got a little newer modern fixture in here. But then we've got the Corian sink. And if I'm not mistaken, a little bit shallower, shallower one here on the forward edge. So that's going to be a good overview of your driver's side slide room there. Now we're going to come around over here to the passenger one. And this is the special one here. So let me see if I can prop this camera up over here on the TV. Kind of angle it down for you all a little bit. Sorry about this kind of elementary productions. All right, so on this couch. Everybody just jumped. Oh, at least we didn't break the camera. All right. Let's see if this sucker will stay this time. All right, stay there. On this couch, it's going to be a bunk bed, if you can believe it or not. You come down and grab this handle here, and that's going to release it. So you actually pull this upper section up, and you reach down in here, grab this, pull it up, grab this again, pull the little safety rail up, and boom. Now you've got a bunk bed. These plastic pieces flip off to the side, so that way there's none of the mechanical hardware that actually lifts the bed in the way. You flip that up to the other side. And then you've got this little staircase right here off to the left. You can take these cushions out and then you end up with even a much larger area, giving yourself a good three feet of depth to be able to sleep up there. 
some really cool, I think uh, Flex Steel made this, and I'm not sure that they're still in business, so you may not be able to get any more of these. But then you put it away, you simply flip this down like this. After you flip this back down, and then this plastic piece back down, then you can slide this back down. And once you get that down, then you just drop the coach couch back to its uh, stored location so pretty cool unit multi-purpose nice to be able to get the kids in here these are grandkids that are going to go RVing with you then you've got this uh cool stainless stained glass glassware cabinet got a little lighting across the top some shelves in there pretty cool that stained glass that red and that flower there now, of course, you won't have the overhead over here on this side that's actually been deleted. And that way you can get that bunk bed to go all the way up there and reach the ceiling. But you'll have nice storage over the dinette here. You'll have these upper cabinets be interconnected here in the centers. And then the right side all the way open. And then the left is just going to be a little quick nook there. You've got this dinette table with some storage down below on the left sides. And then here in the center, and then here on the right. Now I showed you before the leaf that goes onto the table. So you can actually pull this all the way out and install that leaf back in there to fill that extra void. So as you can see, that gives you lots of area to get four, maybe even a fifth chair around that table. So you can do lots of dining in here. Go ahead and shove that away. Try not to knock over those fancy gold decor package that we've got going on in here right now now like i said you've got the intellitech lighting throughout the whole coach like i mentioned when i was on the outside of it being the first year 2007 and i mentioned when i was on the outside again that beautiful samsung stainless refrigerator double door with the drawer Ooh, i nailed it that time all that new modern LED lighting you've got the shelf here so you've got this large freezer and then you've got this large refrigerator area on the top with all that new modern LED lighting I think I want to put a new fridge in mine just because they look so cool nowadays but yeah that's replaced out the stock R the stock RV refrigerator and got the residential model in there so let's make our way back to the little toilet room here You've got the uh, Tecma turd grinder toilet here. And then the fantastic fan being able to set your speeds and your temperatures here in the ceiling. The way you can get rid of the odors that you may be creating while you're in this toilet room. And then you've got the cabinets here above the sink. And then another cabinet here below the sink. Nice uh, shiny kind of chrome stainless looking backsplash kind of drew my eye to it i like the look of that and then we've got the uh, large vanity sink over here with some more storage above it on the right and the left you've got the log here for the serial numbers it's going to be a 45 foot a b c d which means four slide rooms an a a b a c and a d slide on a jubilee intrigue it's going to be coach number 12183 so nice little log that we always put in the coaches you've got your intellitech here with your water pump switch multiple places to be able to turn that water pump on and off a couple drawers here off to the right side nice deep drawer and then a second nice deep drawer now this one here won't have any mechanical hardware under there so you'll actually get some area under the sink also nice carpeted cabinet here and then up in all these upper cabinets, you're going to have this nice tandem white carpet here. All right. So beautiful coach. And this uh, cabinet here, you're going to actually have your house monitor. Looks like it's got the newer uh, silver leaf keypad installed in here. So kind of an update there. And then you've got the floor heat controls. Now in 07, a lot of them, the floor heat was in the beginning of production run through the silver leaf. But this particular coach is going to be a later 07 so it's going to have the floor heat running in there that hydro hot controller for your uh, single element and your diesel burner 
and then down below you'll have your 12 volt fuse and then your 110 volt this being your main panel this being your sub panel all the sub panel things are going to be off the inverter so sometimes if you're missing one of those but you do know you have shore power because your air conditioners are working you'll want to check your fuse on your inverter so that gets uh kind of the systems in there you're going to have a nice pocket door right here be able to pull across the blank off this area and then you'll have the two stage pocket door right here to be able to get everything taken care of there so we've got a nice looks like king size bed so lots of room there we've got some 110 volt uh, outlets here off to the right side and then off to the left side there in the side of the nightstand they're not really here in the front they're just kind of buried off here into the back and then if you want to go back to the 70s they would let you use the phone but i don't think today's modern day we're going to be using too much phone in the coach unless it's cellular so a nice window over the headboard too kind of give you some natural lighting in here help brighten it up and then you've got a nice little window over here on the other side. Now, this coach here is going to have the manual blinds throughout. And have the uh, day mode kind of get you a little light in there. And then the night mode with the full blackout. And then you can grab that at the bottom and slide them both away all in one. So, it's kind of the gist on that. you got an IntelliTech controller here. Get a little camera view switch and the curb lights to be able to turn on your curb lights and just start your, stop your generator. In case your silver leaf isn't working or you find yourself wanting to be able to control that back here. Going to have uh, the LG DVD player stacked uh, right here. A little spot for your uh, um, satellite receiver if you'd like up there on the top spot. And then you've got your nice little TV here with uh, some more storage below the TV. And then some drawers. Those are going to be consistent throughout another drawer here which is going to be consistent below it and then right here you're going to have your safe all right and then in this particular coach you know it's kind of set up for the kids got that large dinette table of the grandkids and so then you're going to have actually a washer dryer located back here in the corner looks like it's got a custom uh, handle to be able to open the door i'm sure that by the time we got done getting this thing ready for you it wouldn't have that anymore. No more improvising and conquer. We'd get a hold of Westland Sales up in Vancouver and get you a brand new one of those. But you got some storage above the top here. And then you've got some storage down below. Looks like that's where we're hiding that central vac hose. And we've got a stocking pile of a dirt, vac dirt devil vacuum hoses. Looks like we've got the OEM brand new in the bag just needs to be installed so it looks like our sales department will get off on not having to buy a new handle we'll just uh, spend a little labor getting that sucker installed but the very last part of this coach we've made it to the end here it's going to be the closet you're going to have a nice line carpet line shelf across the very top here you're going to have a nice bar here it's going to be about 60 inches worth of bar space so that way you can hang up all the glamour gear that you may have off to the left, you've got a little cabinet here, but that's going to be some mechanical systems for the IntelliTech lighting. And then you're actually going to have some switches here in case the IntelliTech quits working. You can actually get it powered up there. A uh, little hump here in the back corner. That's going to be where the shore cord is hidden. The shore cord reel is under that box. But uh, that's going to give you a tour of this beautiful 2007 Country Coach Intrigue 530 45-footer jubilee quad slide i want to say if i'm not mistaken at the beginning of the tour i said 189 thousand dollars for this bad boy oh 179 thousand is the asking price on this with about 75 thousand miles on it we'll get you the generator hours real quick this is going to have an own in 10k generator and we're going to be looking at about 703 hours on that Onan. so the coolest points of this coach, of course, are going to be that large dinette, that bunk bed, the king size bed. It's already got that uh, residential refrigerator in there for you. It's got that beautiful cherry wood craftsmanship in it. So, um, like I said, hit up uh, Premier RV Sales and Service of Oregon. Their webpage is going to have some more information about that. Hit up Louie or Damon. Those guys will get you helped out or hit me up on my email at brianmoto773 at gmail. We'll get you helped out. But 
Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you're all having a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and hit those like buttons and comment below what you think of this beautiful coach. But till next time, we'll talk to you then. Bye-bye now.